Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the method overriding concept. So in the earlier sessions, we have seen method overloading concept. So in this session, we will see what's the difference between method overloading and method overriding, right? So both will come under the one of the OOPS concept that is polymorphism. polymorphism so in the polymorphism we said that implementing the same thing in different ways implementing same thing in different ways right this is called a polymorphism in that it is divided into two categories. One is compile time polymorphism second one is runtime polymorphism right so this compile time polymorphism is achieved by implementing method overloading so this can be achieved by implementing method overloading and this can be achieved by implementing method overriding right so this is called static binding this is called a dynamic binding because here we are saying that compile time here run time so compile time so it is called a static binding it's a runtime because so we are saying it as a dynamic binding so both the method overloading and the method overriding comes under the OOPS concept polymorphism. In order to achieve the polymorphism, we have to implement these two concepts, method overloading and overriding. Now let us see the differences, actual differences between the overloading and overriding. Method overloading. Method overriding. So first thing, just now we have seen by implementing this one, we will achieve compile time polymorphism. compile time polymorphism here we will achieve runtime polymorphism right that's why we call it as static binding that's why we call it as dynamic binding Next, here the method name should be same or this will be implemented in a single class. Single class. This will be implemented in two different classes. So here, in order to achieve this method overloading, 
there is no concept of inheritance there is no need of inheritance concept no need of inheritance this will be achieved with the help of inheritance next here whatever the method we are overloading that method name should be same method name should be same here also for method overriding the method name should be same next here the parameters may be different right so name same name with different parameters difference in parameters here both the methods should have the same parameters so same parameters here the return type can be different here the return type should be same scope may be different here the scope must be same as well as method name parameters return type right so the next one static methods can be overloaded here the static methods we can't override so static methods cannot be overridden static methods cannot be overridden okay so this is called early binding because it's a compile time this is called late binding because it is a run time right next in the addition to method overloading here whatever the methods declared using a final keyword those methods cannot be overloaded methods declared with final keyword cannot be overridden right here there is a no chance of declaring any method with a final keyword because this will be used in inheritance concept right so if the final keyword is used on methods those methods cannot be inherited so child class cannot access the methods which are uh, declared as a final in the super class similarly if the final keyword is used to declare a variable those variables will be acting as a constants we cannot change the value of that constants right so these are the differences between 
the method overloading and overloading. So in order to achieve the polymorphism, we need to implement method overloading and method overriding. Right? So hope you understood this one. Let me write a simple example for method overloading and method overriding. So just I will erase these things and I will write the example. Simple example. So here, let me call overload class. Here, let us write add, some void add logic. Similarly, void add int x int y. Similarly, int add int x int y so all these are the comes under this method of overloading that means we are writing different methods with the same name but different signature and different uh, return type right so here we are implementing everything in single class single class so here we are not using the inheritance concept hope you understood this Coming to this method of overriding class P, if you write here and in the class C, again we have to write the same method with the same parameters. Right? So here the inheritance concept is here extends p so two classes this method of overriding is implemented in two different classes one class is inherited with the other class so whatever the method we are writing in the parent class the same class the same method the same method per name parameters and return type should be written in the child class also the base class also so this is in this we will use two different classes two classes that's why we call it as inheritance inheritance right so we'll stop here so if you really understood my sessions like my like my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, method of overloading and the method of overriding concepts feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.